Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd go over camera tools. And the camera is the thing we're looking through right now. You can see when I rotate my scene, what I'm looking through is the perspective camera by default when I open up a new scene in Maya. You can create a new camera by going to Create Cameras. We have a few options here, but for now, we'll just stick with it, the standard camera. So I hit this button, and it'll create a camera like this that I can move just like any other object. And if I go to Panels, Perspective, I can add Camera 1. And now I'm looking through Camera 1, which is that camera I just made. So looking through my new camera, I'll just name this, instead of Camera 1, we'll just call it Example Camera. So the camera tools can be found under view camera tools and then we have several. I'll just kind of break this off, move it over here and I'll probably go through a couple at a time in a video because there's not a lot of options in each one but there's enough of them that I probably don't want to do one video for all of them. So the first one is the tumble tool. And before I go into it, first of all, your, your camera does have some tools that are kind of built in. For example, when you alt, left click, you're rotating your camera. That's essentially kind of a camera tool. You rotate, the camera rotate. Then middle mouse click with alt. You can camera pan, sort of. And middle mouse, and alt, right mouse button or alt left and middle together will zoom right those are kind of your normal working tools so that you can work in Maya building anything those are your standard mouse and keyboard operations for controlling the camera so these camera tools are a little bit extra where they can simulate a lot of camera movements that are, you see in film like if you just look through the names of these, you have tumble, track, dolly, zoom, roll, yaw and pitch. So lots of lots of kind of camera motions that you might learn about in film school and stuff about how to get certain shots with an actual physical camera. You can simulate those with your mouse clicks like this in some way. And you can animate a camera like on a path or something but these tools give you a little bit extra uh, options for how to control the camera so tumble tool let's look at the first one let's go into the options so these are the tumble tool options so I'm just gonna I'll hide the camera tools menu for now since we have a small screen here and what tumble is it's kind of like rotate. With the tumble tool active, you can see my cursor is this, this kind of circular arrow icon. And without holding down the Alt button, just left clicking and dragging, I'm tumbling. I'm rotating my scene. So it's kind of like a super rotate, <laughs> super camera rotate kind of, where I have all these options. Let's look at the first one. We have tumble scale. And we have the slider. Default value is 1. So let's, uh, let's increase this up to let's say five and my ro camera rotation happens much faster now so it's scaling the speed of the tumble so by just rotating a, a small amount or just by a small movement of my mouse and holding down the left mouse button it spins the camera very quickly go back to one and now it's kind of a standard speed whenever I move my mouse. Tumble on object is a checkbox that we can use. Let's create a simple polygon cube. And let's go back to the tumble tool. Since now this is my move tool settings. So tumble on object. So I'm not sure if I'm uh, doing something incorrectly, but I cannot get tumble on object to work the way it would seem like it should work in my mind. 
is that when this is checked and I have an object selected and then I tumble the camera it should kind of tumble around the object's pivot point but it doesn't appear to be happening you can press the F key to kind of focus the camera on the object but still it seems like my camera's tumble point or the point that my camera is kind of tumbling around isn't exactly the object's pivot or anything like that so I'm not entirely sure if tumble on object works like it should it could be my version of Maya I'm not sure but if you have any input on that topic feel free to let me know so I guess we'll just skip that for now I can uncheck it and tumble check it tumble I don't really get to see any difference so yeah I don't know about that one we have the tumble about tumble about the center of interest or tumble about the tumble pivot now for these two to make much sense we have to kind of look elsewhere a little bit so with the camera selected let me go to view select camera so now my camera has been selected I can choose the show manipulator tool when I get this little uh, move tool in the middle here so when I move this it actually moves my center of interest by moving this little arrow I could for example place it perhaps at the middle of my cube and then go back to the tumble tool and we'll tumble around that arrow like so and then another way you can kind of adjust this hitting control A to open the camera attributes or by going to view camera attribute editor it opens up the attribute editor for the camera they have lots of camera controls which I'll go over in a more camera focused video this is more of a camera tool focused video but we're going to scroll down here and look at movement options and under movement options we have center of interest and also tumble pivot these two uh, attributes of the camera very much tie in to tumble about because we have center of interest and tumble pivot both of these right here so the tumble about tool will tumble about the center of interest based on this value or the tumble pivot based on this x y z coordinate so the center of interest is here and if we adjust this or actually if I show manipulator tool again to show the center of interest handle and then I drag this around you can see that the center of interest value change like so and then you have your tumble pivot and let's go back to the tumble tool if we so if we tumble about the center of interest we're tumbling about that handle that we can grab using the show manipulator tool if we tumble about the tumble pivot it actually won't work as we check this box it says use pivot as local space because the tumble pivot is the pivot point of the camera so if we click this box use pivot as local space and choose tumble pivot as our tumble about setting and now we tumble you'll see now I'm, my camera is essentially rotating at its pivot point which that doesn't work unless you check this box here in the attribute editor if I go back to center of interest you'll see that it still tumbles about like this because I need to uncheck use pivot as local space and now it pivot about that center of interest so to switch between these two it won't work unless you turn this on and off so it's a little bit confusing so control A to close the attribute editor for now and now I'm going to make my camera an orthographic camera because you see here our next option is orthographic views it's either it's locked and we have step and then ortho step which is a slider right now which is grayed out if I uncheck locked stepped becomes available with ortho step here if I uncheck stepped ortho stepped is no longer available and the orthographic view is neither locked nor stepped stepped or locked now an orthographic view is a two-dimensional view like your front view or your side view or your top view so an orthographic view does not have perspective 
like our camera does right now. So again, we'll go to our view camera attribute editors. We'll close our movement options and now we'll go to orthographic views. And we have a checkbox for orthographic. So we check this box and now our camera has changed to an orthographic camera, a two-dimensional camera. Our camera no longer has perspective. And now because my orthographic views is locked, when I left click and drag to tumble my camera it does not, does not work. Unchecked locked I can now tumble my view in this two-dimensional orthographic view, which gives you interesting perspective. Let me hit uh, Control A to close the attribute editor. And right now it's stepped. So our orthographic step. So the camera's not moving smoothly. It's rotating. It, it's kind of it's tumbling at like five degree increments. We can change this degree increment by changing this ortho step by using the slider or by typing it in let's say 45 degrees so now my orthographic camera tumbles at 45 degree increments or if you uncheck stepped it'll tumble smoothly so that's using the orthographic views ortho step settings together check steps and it will rotate at increments and locked it will not tumble at all until you change it back to a perspective camera by going back to the attributes and unchecking orthographic and now it will tumble so that's the tumble tool I think we'll go ahead and just uh, make that a video for the tumble tool we'll go over more camera tools in the future I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learned a little bit and again uh, Tumble on object, that kind of confused me. It didn't really work the way I expected. If you have any input on that, let me know and I can make an addendum video if I have somehow missed something on how that should work. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.